Halo Infinite is finally working on Steam Deck. But before you get too excited, this is the Steam version, and it's not the simplest to get working. So a huge shout out to Game Tech Planet for letting me know about this and how to get it up and running. I'll cover that in a little while. But first of all, let's have a look at the settings. I had to put everything down to a low with motion blur off, and I also turned the screen shake down because it gets a bit much with the frame cap at 60 and it really didn't hold much more than 45 really and skipped around all over the place so I did leave VSync on and cap the Steam Deck itself at the 40 hertz mode which stabilized it a lot more although it does put you at a bit of a disadvantage still see those spikes but it is much much more playable unlike my actions on a controller I'm used to playing Halo Infinite on a mouse and keyboard, so playing this with a controller really put me at a huge disadvantage. And to be honest, having only 40 frames per second is going to put you at a bit of a disadvantage anyway. And not having the precision of mouse and keyboard is going to really put you at another disadvantage. However, if you are used to controller, then you are going to have an absolute blast playing this. And the good news is the campaign should be working too minus the videos. So how to get this working? It's not the simplest. You need to be on the beta channel for both the Steam OS and the Steam itself, which will then put you into the Steam preview mode. You'll need GE Proton 26, and you'll also need to delete the videos from the video folder on Halo Infinite in desktop mode. So like I said, not the simplest to get working, but if you do want the full guide, then I'll link you to the Game Tech Planet video of how to get this all set up in the description below, as he deserves the credit for this for letting us know. I'll leave you with a bit more of my poor performance in controller on game mode, so you can get a better feel for the game and performance without me talking. Let us know in the comments below if you dive into Halo Infinite, or whether you're just going to wait for the updates to hit the mainstream. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video.